Hi guys and welcome to another video by Decker Does Rust. In this one I'm kind of moving off Rust for a moment to uh, do a quick C++ um, application. Uh, in this one I'm just going to create a new empty application, so a, well, a new project first. Uh, it's going to be based on an empty project, so it starts with literally nothing in C++. Um, it's going to actually be a merge sort. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to literally have it create a git repository for me so I can kind of deal with this. Just wait for it to do the creation of the project and stuff like that. <coughs> uh, yeah, what I'm planning to do is do a few different things in C++ and then perhaps port them to Rust. And obviously to port something to Rust, I need to actually already have something in my mind as to something where I'm going to port from. So I'm going to do the C++ and then try and port stuff to uh, Rust. So I thought I'll start with something simple like a sort algorithm. I was going to do a bubble sort and then I thought I've never actually done a merge sort as such as a thing. I've always I've used built-in merge sorts and stuff like that. So we're going to implement a merge sort algorithm. Um, it's basically going to consist of a couple of um, conditional things, a couple of loops, basically. You know, it's not super amazingly awkward, but we'll get there. Let's uh, show all files. I'm going to create a new folder for source. And then in that, I want to put my includes, which I may or may, I'm going to break into includes afterwards. I think I'm going to just um, fiddle about with it as a main project to start with. So I won't actually make the include folder just yet. So I'll make, add a new file. Uh, I'll just call it main.cpp or something for now. I'm just going to call it merge sort. Yeah, I'll just call it main.cpp for now. It can be called pretty much anything. It's just to actually get things started. So I'm going to include the standardized stuff like um, IO stream. I'll also want to include a few other things. Um, I might just, yeah, I'm just going to include the kind of So we'll declare a couple of um, things, so let's see, I'm going to actually do the prototype for a merge and for a merge sort. It's not going to um, return anything, so I'll just do a void merge and a void merge sort. I think that'll do for that, yeah. Uh, they'll be prototyped in a minute. Uh, trying to think what else. I think that's about it. I know what I'm going to do. I'm not actually even going to prototype those. I'm just going to do them in. I'll, I'll do that as a prototype for the merge, but merge sort I'll actually implement here. Uh, I'm going to have to actually create the general prototype idea, though. I want an integer pointer, so that'll be like an array. And three integers. Uh, this one will have another inter integer array. So uh, let's think. I want to do as a pointer, and then we'll have a low and a high number. So it's going to be like an integer merge sort sort of thing. I'm not going to generalize it or generic. Just to keep this fairly straightforward and simple. Uh, I'm going to create a new thing for the midpoint. So int mid. And then we're going to use that to do different things. I'm going to create some logic here. Uh, let's see. If low is less than high then we'll create 
mid which will be equal to low plus high divided by 2 and then we can run a recursive merge sort on the ADDR of low high then we'll run another recursive merge sort after that I don't know whether I've just done that merge yeah I'll do but this time on ADDR um, of mid plus one to high and all we do is we'll merge on ADDR for low mid and high now we haven't wrote merge just yet but that's the overall, hang on, I'm going to actually also return out of this once it's finished. So, either it just returns, or it will continue doing the merge sort, basically. So, that's a recursive algorithm for a merge sort. I don't know why that's red. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, it's, a, it's a recursive algorithm for a merge sort but I haven't added the merge so we haven't implemented merge just yet uh, I'm going to actually em add an empty void merge and it's got to follow the same thing so it'll be an int start ADDR uh, int low high and mid int low int high and then at the end at int mid just to make sure it's there and this will be the implementation of it but I'll put that as a to do imp for merge and fill in logic Okay, so obviously I've got to write the merge itself yet, but as a general overview, our merge sort is pretty much done. We do need to do the merge part, but that's basically how it will work. And it's a recursive algorithm to keep it clean and elegant. Uh, I'm hoping you all enjoy this so far. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of call this as a part one. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll start adding more stuff in, and it's going to be a multi-part video set uh, once I've actually implemented this um, we'll then maybe make another uh, like a, a main in fact I may just at the bottom of here do it in main uh, oops. return there we go. Just so that we've got an actual main. Um, yeah. To do uh, use case for merge sort. So I can uh, kind of add something in there and use the merge sort as a tester. It's just like test code, this will be gone at some point. Because if I'm making this as an actual function or whatever, or a method, it'll probably end up being static and we'll be able to call it anyway. But we'll leave it as it is for now. So that'll do for this episode. Um, I'm just going to check on how long the episode's gone for. Uh, we've got nine, min nine and a half minutes, so I think have got a little bit of time to do some more stuff. So what I'll probably do is I'll do a while loop. Now I think I'm going to have like three while loops, all I'm going to do is I'm going to literally copy and paste three while loops and a for loop. Again there's a lot to do here, there's no, uh, I'll just say true, because 
obviously I've got to actually add the um, balloons in here. For, but for now I'm just going to do this. Those would all be infinite loops, obviously. And that's another infinite loop. So obviously that, that you don't want code that actually does that as such, but I'm just doing those as placeholders so they're ready to actually do. Um, let's actually place that inside those because they're going to actually need to be implemented. Okay, so that's that's the structure or the initial structure of what we're going to have in the merge. And inside these, what uh, I think inside the first while loop, we'll probably have if and else, conditional, and a few other bits and pieces. So it's basically the uh, logic and the data um, for these. Just to kind of make it clear. Okay, so that being said, I think that'll do for this episode. I'll save this and I will unpublish commits, merge, three changes. Okay, let's enter a commit uh, for this. Uh, what will we call it? Initial merge sort of setup commit on. Yes. That's brilliant. Okay, so let's save that. Make sure it's saved, yeah, that's all done. So that'll do for this. Uh thanks a lot for watching guys. I've run a bit over the ten minute. I wanted to try and make these as ten minute videos, but obviously this one's kinda gone over a bit. But we seem to have got fair amount done on this initial setup for it, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. This was part one. There will be a part two up shortly as well.